Tonight, a unique look at an effort to help protect us from hurricanes. Now, the Coastal Restoration Authority invited a small group of journalists to see how $100 million is being spent to restore and reinforce a barrier island. On West Grand Tier Island in Jefferson Parish, there is round-the-clock work being done. Tom Trung is among the reporters who visited the island, and he brings us the story tonight. We're about a mile just off the tip of Grand Isle, and while this looks like a construction zone, this is also the foundation for coastal protection in Louisiana. Leaving Grand Isle Wednesday morning, our boat headed north to West Grand Terre Island. Next, we hop on an ATV with Jonathan Crockett. You know, the more we beef these islands, the less we lose at a, at a rapid rate. He's a project manager helping to stabilize and shore up this barrier island. So we're going to a discharge point on the beach, which is where the sand is coming from the Gulf of Mexico so we could build certain elevation and templates to, to restore the beach. The conditions get so muddy that we have to climb into another vehicle. It's called the fat truck, and it's the only way we can reach a unique source of sand. It's far from heaven, but they are physically moving earth for this project. That geyser of sand is actually being pumped in from roughly four miles out in the Gulf of Mexico. Did this run all day? We are 24-7 operation, yes. On a daily, we're, we're moving probably about 40 to 45,000 cubic yards a day. The Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority started work on West Grand Terre Island in January. One of its goals is to restore or create 256 acres of beach and dune by the end of this year. Islands like these are Louisiana's front line of protection for storms and hurricanes. These act as a first barrier to prevent uh, tidal surges from coming in. Uh, it protects the interior of the coast, so without them, there's nothing stopping the Gulf, the Gulf from coming in. I'm from Louisiana, so you know, being a part of a project like this is rewarding, knowing that we're you know giving back to the state to help it, you know, maintain a little while longer. So. Uh, Anytime we have something come up with CPRA like this and, uh, you know, I can be involved, uh, it's always a pleasure. Rocks are also being imported from Arkansas and Kentucky to help hold the island together. It's a man-made effort to offset the power of nature. Reporting near Grand Isle, Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. Well, the price tag for the project on West Grand Terre Island is $102 million. Almost all of the funding comes from settlements from the BP oil spill. The work on the island is expected to wrap up in November.